Hello everyone and welcome to Telecom TV's Extra Shot. I'm Charlotte Kahn and I'm delighted to be with you over the course of the next two days to cover the latest from the DSP Leaders World Forum 2023. Yes, the Davos of the telecoms sector is back for another year at the Fairmont Park Windsor and over the next two days we will be joined by more than 100 industry thought leaders to discuss their strategies and the future of the telecoms industry. So we'll be tackling topics like automation, next-gen operations, data and APIs, service innovation, AI native telco, cloud native, and of course, energy efficiency. So whilst everything looks familiar from last year, the theme of this year's forum has changed to accelerating telecoms innovation. After focusing on the fast track to a DSP future for the event's first four years, where we outlined a case for a move from CSP to DSP, where we're looking today at the practical steps needed for the transition to a digital service provider and what actions the industry can take to accelerate this evolution. So how does Extra Shot work? Well, Guy and Ray will share the main stage behind us with our exclusive guests, and I will be with you across all the breaks and the bits in between. I am not going to be alone. However, I'm going to be joined by a number of guests. We've got many CSPs, vendors and analysts joining us to talk all things telecom, of course, and we'll be extending the discussion from the main stage and reviewing each session with our guests here. So do send in any questions or comments you may have. Take our polls and if you do miss anything, remember you can find all the content on demand on telecomtv.com. So what can you expect on day one of the DSP Leaders World Forum 2023? Where we'll have sessions with co-hosts from Vodafone Group, 3UK, Telefonica and BT. And we'll be joined here on the Extra Shot stage by Chris Lewis, Apple Door, Wind River and the TM Forum. But first of all, I'd like to introduce you to our very special first guests of Extra Shot here. We've got Yanni Boyadzieva, who's deputy editor at Telecom TV and a man who doesn't really need an introduction, but I'll do it anyway. It's Martin Warwick, who's editor in chief at Telecom TV. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Charlotte. So Martin, first of all, the event, the forum is running for its fourth year. Remind us what the vision for it was to start with. What's your vision for the DSP Leaders World Forum? Well, to go back a bit, we've been doing this for 20 years and more now, observing, reporting on and analysing the global telecoms industry. And back in 2019, 2018, 2019, there were a couple of technologies about SDN, NFV. We don't need to go into what they are at this very moment. But they caused a bit of eruption in the industry and events that we went to around the world, we found there was a sort of disjuncture between what the telcos wanted and what the vendors were offering. And there seemed to be a mismatch between the two. And there were often quite impassioned arguments about it and complaints that things weren't going the way they should have been going. So what we did was we thought we would come up with the notion for an event whereby peers could meet together to discuss real world problems about what they want and what they need and how the vendors can help solve these problems in a group of, amongst the peers talking about things as they really are, not as they would like them to be. Thank you very much. Now, Yanni, what can we expect this year at the DSP Leaders World Forum? It's going to be very exciting for the next two days. We'll focus on the main pressing challenges for telcos in their journey to become techcos. Because the world is evolving fast, telcos as well as other industries need to evolve quickly. We'll be uh, following and checking how telcos will innovate, how they will come up with new services in order to monetize their networks, and also how to do that in an energy efficient way. Martin, why do we need a platform for connecting and sharing knowledge more than ever within the telecom sector? Well, first of all, connectivity by itself is not enough. And CSPs, communication service providers, have to evolve. Or literally, many of them will die. Uh, they just won't be relevant anymore with the OTT players, obviously, and have for a long time now been not just eating their, their lunch, they've been having dinner and the next day's breakfast as well. So something needs to be done. Connectivity by itself is not enough. And we also, so we, th we need to be able to discuss this properly as adults in an adult environment and try and do away with hype and get to the reality of it. And of course, one of the things that I'm particularly interested in coming up in a few moments is this notion of the development from the telco to the techno, 
which is what we see happening now. And as you mentioned in your introduction, the acceleration of the industry towards that point. And of course the elephant in the room, which may or may not be mentioned to a greater or lesser extent, is AI and the immense impact that is going to have very quickly on the entire industry. I was going to ask you about this actually, the most disruptive trends that you are seeing at the moment within the industry that could be challenges of course, but also opportunities? Well of course, they always say don't they, where there's a challenge and opportunity, but the people who say that usually aren't involved with what's going on. Uh, but yes, there, there are always challenges in this industry, things change so very, very quickly. And look at the geopolitical era we're living through at the moment. The you know, difficulty with China, when we first were talking about this very forum, most of the presentations were slide presentations on stage, mainly 70% of it would have been done by Huawei. In everywhere you went in the world, it would have always been the same. Those days are gone for various reasons, and this is why we have something like this now with representatives from all over the industry, different technologies, etc. Thank you very much. Yanni, any panel discussions we should not miss today? Personally, what are you looking forward to the most in terms of the conversations we're going to be having here? I would say most of them, all of them are worth watching, but I would be personally very excited to see the second day, the Green Network Summit. We'll be following a few sessions focused on how networks can become more green, what technology innovation can be used to actually save energy across the networks, and also how the telcos can help the whole ecosystem be more energy efficient as well. Martin, are you seeing more emphasis on ESG and green transition and transformation within the telecom sector currently? I'm sorry Charlotte, I hardly heard that because of the background noise. Could you say it again? <laughs> Wonderful. And <laughs> oh, I've got to ask you Martin, I'm sure that you're looking forward to all the sessions here, but any discussions in particular that you think we should be having here? Uh, well, as I mentioned, I think we need to be talking about, first of all, the destruction of the supply chain because of events in China and so on, the Ukraine war, all this is bubbling away in the background causing great problems for everybody and it means people have to adapt very quickly and you can have strategies and there are strategies but these strategies have to be adapted and altered more or less on the fly as things change and it's we're going through an experience that we haven't seen ever really since the Second World War as far as telecommunications is concerned and it's affecting everybody and as Jan is saying all the uh, debates here have been picked carefully it doesn't just, they don't just fall out of trees um, and to ensure that they are relevant to what's going on in the industry now and people want to talk about them and want to hear what's going to be said. Jan, very briefly you are a young voice within the industry, I guess. Um, the next discussion we're going to be having very shortly is around attracting talent and, and, and new people to the industry. What would you say to the people considering a career within the telecoms sector? Yes, that's uh, obviously a very pressing uh, question and a challenge for most of the telco companies uh, nowadays, uh, looking to entice new young people, fresh talent to come into work for, for a telco company. Um, I would say that there is a lot of room for growth. It's not like a big tech company where everything has been already set up and there are very strict ways of doing things in telco, I would say personally, you, you can have your say because, yeah, it's less people, less young people working in the industry. So it's easier to have your voice being heard and to bring in new ideas, fresh ideas and coming up with something completely new. You can build a new world, if you will. Wonderful. Thank you very much, Yanni. And of course, we'll hear from you again. Uh, during extra shot, you're going to be across the room by the coffee machine with I special will. guests. Yeah. Okay, yeah. well, that's uh, something to look forward to, of course, today. But without much further ado, um, I can see that things have started to get a little bit busy behind me, and it's going to kick up very shortly on the main stage. So, please enjoy the opening of the DSP Leaders World Forum 2023, and I'll see you again after the first session at 10:35. Enjoy. <laughs>